David had lived in a small town of Pixley his entire life. The town was situated in the heart of California's agricultural region, surrounded by sprawling feeds of grapes, almonds, and citrus orchards. However, one morning he had to make a trip to Sacramento for a doctor's appointment, and his mom was taking him, but to his surprise, his dad decided to come along. The appointment went smoothly and great. The next day, David's father asked him if he wanted to come with him to his work to pick up his check and let his employer know why he was gone the day prior. As we entered his office, he looked over at us like he was expecting us already. The employer threw the check at his father. With anger on David's father's face, he tried to explain why he was missing, but the employer did not seem to care at all and told David's father to leave. Without a job, it left David's family in a difficult situation. They couldn't stay in Pixley for long without a source of income. Also, they were only able to stay in Pixley for a couple months, and it started to drain their savings. His father searched for months to find a place that is hiring and had no luck with it. Fortunately, David's aunt Christina lived in the area of Point Reyes, and she was able to help them look for a job nearby. After a long day of job searching, David's father was able to secure a position in one of the ranches that were near the area of Point Reyes. The family packed up their belongings and moved to their new home in Point Reyes. David felt curious about the nature and miles of forest that stretched across the land in Point Reyes. David knew that he was secure in this place since he had visited this place before, and it was kind of familiar to him. When he arrived at the new place, he felt happy, since the job benefited his family in a huge way. It was a chance for him to explore new things and try new things. At first, David didn't know what to do since he had just moved hours away from Pixley. However, in Point Reyes, he discovered workshops at school with all sorts of tools and machines to weld and make woodshop projects. At first, David was hesitant. He was used to being dependent on other people, but in his new place, there was nobody stopping him. He started small, creating small wooden trinklets and working his way up to larger projects like furniture and even metal projects like fireplaces. It was a new world for him, and he enjoyed it. It was a fun and creative way for him to use his skills and knowledge. As the years went on, David continued to improve his skills he never would have had the chance to try new things if it wasn't with the move to Point Reyes. It was a challenging time for his family, but it turned out to be the best thing that ever happened to him and his family.